Hey, this is Craig Washington, and um, in reflecting about my, my journey with living with HIV and AIDS, uh, I'm struck by the poetry of um, how far and where, from where I came uh, to this place. Uh, I am now 50 years old, which marks also living half my life, 25 years, living with HIV. And um, the journey was one from um, fear and shock uh, that was cushioned by the support of a small, uh, a small band of friends who loved me through those early fearful times to the place where I've come now. And I didn't walk that walk alone. You know, I had, I've had people in my life all the way, my mother and father, uh, my brother, sister-in-law, nephews, and extended family, uh, friends, um, uh, Derek, uh, Karen, Michelle, Simone, Clara, uh, Sandra in particular, uh, in those early years who helped me to just hold on when there was little evidence. Um, and so they helped keep my faith alive. And now I've reached the point where I'm, you know, I've been honored with being a spokesperson at this AIDS walk, which is the 20th anniversary. So so much, so much of a convergence of um, of landmarks, of milestones um, that I'm experiencing this year, and I'm I'm happy to be here, and I'm just so thankful for all the blessings that I've received and all the love and support that I've gotten over the years. I wouldn't be here were it not for that. And so I try to um, make my life be of service. Um, I think that, it, uh, that I have to carry that with meaning because it's so obviously been demonstrated to me that I'm here for a reason. To, to walk in integrity, to, to share my truth, to speak out uh, for uh, people to, to to speak out uh, in the purpose of for the for freedom, um, speak out uh, uh, for justice, to speak speaking out so that people are able to live their lives um, fully um, without fear of discrimination or prejudice or going without uh, simply because of who they are. Um, I've had um, moments and, and uh, experiences where I've been um, devalued uh, or um, cast down or, or rejected simply because I was gay. And I knew it wasn't right, you know. Um, I knew when they were talking about um, um, faggot this and sissy that, that they were talking about me. And it was about their own fear. Um, and it wasn't, it wasn't, um, it didn't make me any less than, uh, but it felt bad all the same. Even though I knew better, even though that I knew that I was divine, um, I had to, to struggle with that. Um, and so I am, again, thankful that I've lived this far, this long, and I think part of the reason why I have is because I've, um, managed to to share my story and speak without apology and speak authentically um, about my experience and the rights um, of others uh, to have what they need you know to to live the best and fullest life that they can